Well, look, Diamond, congratulations. Uh, first and foremost, big picture, all your years here at Edgewood College, Thank an outstanding you. career. What does it mean for you and this group to kind of, you know, put a put a bow on this uh, this career here at Edgewood College? Um, it's just been one hell of a ride, I would say. Um, just all my teammates pushing me every day on and off the court, stay engaged in the classroom, stay engaged in practice. Some days we go really late. Some days it's really hard to be in that gym, but every day I go in there and I show up for my teammates, and um, they've really made this journey worthwhile for the past five years. I was watching the senior video you guys put out. Your discussion points about coming here to help turn this program around, you were a little hesitant, you weren't quite sure, and now you believe this was meant to be I mean, take us through what that feeling is. Um, you know, before when I was telling people I decided to come to Edgewood, everybody questioned me and was asking me if I made a, if I was making the right decision by going to a program that was 0-25, and um, I didn't have an answer for him at first. <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't know, maybe you're right, but I'm taking that chance. And um, every day for the past five years, I've been incredibly thankful that I took that risk. Uh, Coach Huff and the rest of the coaching staff have really um, – just made this place a second home, their support all the time, um, just constant communication, constant just, um, I know that they're always going to be there for me, it doesn't matter if it's five years down the line or uh, ten years, I know they're going to be there celebrating all the big milestones in my life, so um, for all those people who doubted and questioned and uh, made me rethink my decision, um, I'm really happy I stuck to my roots, I knew that I was coming here to flip something and be a part of a legacy and I got that now for sure. Yeah, definitely. Congratulations to you and the rest of the seniors on all you've accomplished. Uh, let's talk about today a little bit. Can, uh, senior day can be an emotional hurdle to try to get over, and you guys did that today. Not the normal Edgewood game we've seen. This was a defensive battle, a low-scoring affair. You have to change your mindset a little bit as this thing kind of unfolded on how to maybe get this win. Um, yeah, for sure. We know that every time that we're going against Concordia, Wisconsin, that it's going to be a battle. Um, we know that... They want to beat us just as bad as we want to beat them. So every time we hit the floor, we're getting everybody's uh, def defensive and offensive best game. So um, I think that really showed today, especially defensively. Like, we were grinding each other, not giving each other easy baskets. And um, we were just able to pull through at the end. But, um, yeah, every time we see CUW, it's really competitive. And um, just never know who's going to come on top of them. But it just really comes down to who's willing to put the ball in at the end and get the necessary stops for sure. You got a team high 14 points today. Some foul trouble early. Kind of take us through your mental, you know, flow throughout the game as you had to get over that frustration of being in foul trouble and then staying out of foul trouble throughout the second half. Yeah, definitely the frustration kicked in. Um, I would just have to say that my teammates and my coaches stayed on me, telling me, um, reminding me, get out of my head, get out of my head, next play mentality. Um, Coach Huff chewed me out a little bit in the locker room talking about uh, just kind of get my head back in the game. And I showed up in that second half for my team, and my team really uh, pulled me out of that mental rut, and I was able to perform and um, help them get that dub at the end. So Tight game down the stretch here. It was a one-point game. You guys got some big buckets uh, down the stretch, uh, especially from players off the bench today. And I know that's been a big part of this team all season long. What's it like to be a part of a team where, you know, anybody coming off that bench can, can come out and contribute? Um, I love it because some days this year you've seen that um, some kids come out flat. Like, I, I've come out flat, uh, maybe even if it's EK or Vivi. But um, with this team, it can be anybody's day and at, at, at any given point. Anybody can turn it on, put those buckets in at the end, which um, is really important, especially down the stretch, especially when foul trouble comes in and we do have subs in there. Um, we trust each other 100% when we're on that floor that you're going to put that bucket in, you're going to make the right play, you're going to make the right decision. So it really comes down to trust. And um, when the big moment comes, we put the, big, we put the big buckets in, for sure. Final question. We talked about the big turnaround of this program, but this year, I mean, not many people thought 11-4 and four would be possible when you were 1-10 and 10 overall and hadn't won the first couple of conference games. How impressed are you with your team and what you've accomplished so far? Um, and knowing that there's still some big things out there yet. I am incredibly proud of them. Um, a lot of people, and I think ourselves included, we looked at that record from uh, 2021 going 0 and 10, and um, a lot of people counted us out, and we came back from winter break, and we just kind of changed our mentality going towards the game. Um, we just wanted to play team basketball. We wanted to build our chemistry. We just wanted to, to start figuring things out for ourselves, and, we want, and most importantly, we just wanted to start having fun again, and that was really important for us, and I feel like in... Um, 
second half of the season, we're definitely having fun, uh, just putting the ball in, just having a great time. But um, I think even in conference, we had slow start to conference, dropped the game to CUC, dropped the game to Rockford. Um, and it was hard, but they counted us out. But the only people that believed in us were Edgewood Women's Basketball and that team I got in that locker room. So we pushed every day. We believed every day. We showed up when it was really hard every day. And um, now we're seeing that payback, and now we're in the fight for third right now. So it's a beautiful feeling for sure. Well, congrats on the win today. And Thank everything you. that you guys have achieved, uh, we're looking forward to big things the next couple weeks. Thank you so much. And again, Diamond Pakulik, our player of the game today in our post-game interview as we begin to wrap things.